Hello friends, welcome back to Marquis Soaps. Today we have some orders to pack, so I thought I would bring you along and show you some new product that we have. So this first one, there are seven items. And the first one is a sugar lemon soap. Abalone and C. A Harry Potter wizard chest. succulent cupcake which I now have one of these left a rainbow overload a water lily and jasmine which these are the Easter soaps I still have a few left they are marked down and an eau de rose and this is the last one of that so there are two four six seven items nice and safe on its way to its new home. So my boxes I get from Uline and the sizes are in the links or in the description box below. Tissue paper is from eBay. Crinkle paper is from Uline. This is not done. What are we doing? Orange patchouli sample soap and my business card. Then I have these little stickers. They say thank you for supporting my small business, and the stickers are teeny, teeny, tiny. I bought them on Wish, thinking that they were larger and then this is her receipt now for these boxes I take my my pail opener I guess is what it's called and just kind of hit the sides go to the sharp edges and then we slide it into a bubble mailer For our next order, we have a, a succulent soap, which is now sold out. We have the Vanilla Galaxy, Rainbow Overload, Bombshell, which is sold out. The last Love Spell, which is sold out. And then a Fresh Pear Shampoo and Conditioner Bar. Put a couple samples in there and my card and wrap it up.
right, so the next one we have two of the Aloha Orchid bath truffles, a rose quartz soap, a rainbow overload, the last two whip soaps that we have for the season. So whip soaps I only make in the fall, winter, and spring, and they will be sold out until probably the middle of September. And then the Island Fruit Basket. So I'm going to use a 12 by nine by four U-line box. Okay, so these whip soaps, I wrap them in this Eco Shield, I don't know what it's called. It basically reflects the sun from making the product get too hot. Whip soaps don't do well in the heat, and so that's why I only carry them in the colder months where I live. So I just that this is wrapped around the entire product. And then this bottom portion that I cut off, I just tape to the bottom of the product. And then it's ready to go. So with my whip soaps, I did have um, people telling me when I kind of started making them, um, if they would arrive, it looked like they were half used. But it's just because they got too hot in transit and um, the air bubbles evaporated. So I will be making some sugar scrubs here in the next couple days. Those do much well during shipping because there's not as much air in them because you have so much sugar. So they don't have that melted look to it. And it is the same base recipe as my whip soap. So it's very, it's a similar product. everything in here so the box is so big <laughs> because my smaller boxes that fit in the padded envelope the when I wrap the, the whip soaps they don't fit they're too big so I have a lot of these I can't think of what they're called that I get from different companies that ship me product and I just save them and use them for something like this where I need a lot of filling. I don't want to use crinkle paper because that's expensive and these were free. So we'll throw in some samples and our card. Our next one is two of these succulent soaps. So as I mentioned, these ones are all sold out now.
And then our soaps go in this six by nine padded bubble mailer. We have a golden snitch, a vanilla galaxy, and a rainbow overload. So these ones I will put in a small box. So these boxes are from Supply Hut. They're seven by five by three. They are very flimsy. I don't ever ship with just this box. This one, the wings are very um, fragile. That's why it's not shrink wrapped tightly around them. The shrink wrap will break them. So I'm going to wrap this one first. And then we'll fill it with crinkle paper check the weight to see if it's over a pound. I'm pretty sure that it is. Yep, 1.3. So it will go in the bubble mailer. So I have a couple samples and my card. Slytherin soap for our next order. And this soap, I designed some new labels for it and I just love how they turned out. So more of my soaps will have those instead of the stickers. Our six by nine bubble mailer again, so it has the the bubble wrap on the inside. Keep it safe. So our next order is going to Arizona, and we have a green apple soap, which smells just like a green apple Jolly Rancher. We have an Easter soap, a hot pink pomegranate, vanilla galaxy, sugared lemon, a lemon lupus soap, which these are amazing. We keep one in our kitchen and it is so nice. This, the loofah is hard, but it's a nice scrub um, if you're working in your garden or, you know, when I uh, make soaping products, and I have like shea butter or oils on my hands. I just put scrub it a little bit. It comes right off. It's so nice. And we have a golden snitch. So let's wrap that one. And then we have lots of bath truffles. So we have a bombshell type. An aloha orchid. 
Aroma Spa Therapy, Hot Pink Pomegranate, Butterfly Flower, Fruity Loops, Island Fruit Basket, First Love, and Denim. So this customer has been buying from me kind of since the beginning. So over off to the side, let me show you what I have going on. I have some bath bombs and bath truffles that are I made yesterday. And I have these three little mini bath truffles that were just made with extra dough that I had. So like here's the regular size and then there's, you can't see anything. So these are the minis, and then here's a regular size. So it's about a third of the size. I'm gonna give her a couple of these. So let me get these wrapped up here. So I have this just wrapped up with a little thank you note on there for her. And then we'll include a couple of other little samples. ready to go. Slither in the last time or earlier. And I've just ran out of the blue tissue paper. So we have some orange here. My desk is full, so I'm just going to grab out a couple pieces for my next order. That's also from eBay. You get it, I think it's $17. It was at least the last time I purchased it. You get 400 sheets and it has free shipping. You just can't beat that price. And it's, it's decent tissue paper. for today and that is the orange patchouli shampoo and conditioner bar or set excuse me
Okay, so for the shampoo and conditioner bars when they're by themselves, I like to wrap them in my thermal heat guard wrap. And it's not even because I feel like they will melt. I just feel like they're a little bit safer. See, this one doesn't even cover it all the way. But it just gives it a little bit extra protection in case it's sitting in a mailbox all day right in the sun. We just don't want anything to happen to the conditioner bar. I don't think it would melt, but I really don't want to take a chance. So, and it's going to Texas. So nothing else, it's just an extra layer of protection on the bars. All right, so that is my final order for the weekend. So we had nine orders and I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. We'll see you back soon. Bye, guys.